Welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another Forgotten Spider-Man Rogues episode, and I hope you enjoy. There's a Spider-Man adversary named Facade, the full acclamation combat and defense expo skeleton. Facade armor. This armor gives its user superhuman strength and durability. The armor can fly and also fire bolts. Facade's storyline was in Web of Spider-Man issues 113 to 116. We first see the biotech armor being shown off at a show for investors. The suit gets stolen at the showing though and the wearer kills the inventor of the armor. Daily Bugle photographer Lance Brandon got a picture of the robber, but before Lance could do anything, Facade murdered him. Spider-Man went after Facade stealing tech, but was crushed underneath a ton of metal in their first encounter. Facade then goes after Betty Brant for trying to discover his true identity. Spider-Man manages to short-circuit the costume, but it knocks Spidey silly when he did it. And when Spider-Man woke up from the battle, the armor is empty and the pilot of the armor has disappeared. The mystery of Facade's real identity was apparently intended to be a long-running subplot in a Spider-Man title similar to the Hobgoblin mystery, but it was dropped thanks to the Clone Saga starting soon after. He then returned for one panel in Amazing Spider-Man issue 678. Yeah, many years later, Facade appeared in one panel being wept up by Spider-Man in a joke of his identity still being kept secret. As Spider-Man ignores Facade revealing his true identity, so as comic readers we still don't know. Norman Osborn, as director of Hammer, did get the information on who Facade really was, but the page was torn so we couldn't read it here. And there's nothing else right now to talk about for Facade. I love that they were going to make him his idea a big mystery, and that in Amazing Spider-Man 678, they kept that up, even turning it into a funny meta joke. Everything else, though, yeah, he's just a guy in a suit. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and have a good one.